Redheaded Peckerwood is a work with a tragic underlying narrative. Charles Starkweather, a 19-year-old roughneck from Lincoln, Nebraska, murdered 11 people in the winter of 1957 and 58, mostly during a one-week road trip across Nebraska with his much younger 14-year-old girlfriend, Carol Ann Fugate. His victims included Fugate's family. The two were eventually captured, and Starkweather was sentenced to death by electric chair, and Fugate was sentenced to life in prison. The story itself is intriguing, but it's also wrapped up in many heavy themes. Teenage angst, young love, longing and escape, confusion, panic, and fear, violence, and ultimately, the loss of innocence. The photographs in Redheaded Peckerwood document places and things central to the story, depict ideas inspired by it, and capture other moments and discoveries along the way. From a technical perspective, they utilize the full arsenal of photographic types and techniques. On a more conceptual and functional level, they reconstruct, deconstruct, and ultimately fragment a pre-existing true crime story while traveling through its charged landscape. They question and challenge traditional notions of photographic truth and representation. While photographs are the heart of Redheaded Peckerwood, the work also utilizes and plays with a pre-existing archive of material, further mixing fact and fiction, past and present, myth and reality, as it presents, expands, and represents the various facts and theories surrounding the story. The installation includes documents and objects that belong to or were touched by the hands of the killers and their victims, including, among other things, maps, notes and poems, a confession letter, a stuffed animal, and a car hood ornament. In some cases, these materials were not recovered by the detectives who originally worked the case. They were discovered during the making of this work and can now be seen publicly for the first time in the exhibition. The installation also includes drawings, painted signs and objects, ready-made sculptures, and shotgun blasts on paper that punctuate the sequential experience of the work. An award-winning book, now in its third printing, accompanies the exhibition. It presents the work as a visual crime dossier, including pieces of paper which are inserted into the book. A little mystery goes a long way, and ironically, it's a certain amount of unknowing that compels viewers to form their own interpretations and responses, to want to know more, to try to fill in the holes, to step into the work and to experience the exhibition in a more multi-dimensional, immersive, and engaging way.